Yeah. Do you think sure there am. is a giant, unbelievable behemoth of an octopus creature called the Kraken roaming the depths of the oceans? <laughs> yes, of course there is. I mean, there's three different types of, there's a giant well, squid, a colossal well, squid. There uh, there, there's definitely some kind wait, of wait, giant wait, wait, octopus. Wait, we, before we move on, I'm sorry. I'm going to dog like this. Kyle, this is really cool, and I'm actually surprised that we didn't do this as a what's in the news. Google quickly, like, giant squid spotted. It just, and it'll come up in the news. Like, this was, like, this morning or yesterday, I forget. Um, this guy, yeah. Uh, no, these guys were diving with a giant squid in Japan. Like, yeah, yeah, here you go. Rare Japan. It's, this is it. This was in the news. I don't know if you guys saw it. This giant oh my God. squid washed up to the surface, sick but alive. And oh, wow. a bunch of guys hopped in the ocean and filmed this thing. I mean, it's like huge news. It was all over the world a couple of days ago. I mean, it's just, look at this. Yeah, hit, hit play on that real quick, Kyle. Look Eight foot long. Yeah. I mean, Big that thing is boy. beat to hell. Like, you can see that squid's yeah. had a rough go of it. I'm guessing a sperm whale rocked this yeah. world. But, uh, like, what a thing to see. Like, the ocean's wild. Wow. And, I mean, this is pretty much a kraken, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. That's Probably what I'm saying. Mm. That's and an then, amazing video. Isn't Amazing. there isn't there a colossal squid though that's bigger than a giant squid? Uh, there is, yes. So I mean, okay. the, the kraken exists one hundred percent. But go ahead, question. okay. But go ahead and pull up our image of the kraken, uh, an octopus, not a squid, big enough. I know, I know, to, to take mm-hmm. entire ships with a tentacle. Mm-hmm. Let's look at a yep. rendering of the kraken because I'm it's, a talking about this I'm guy. A talk, I'm a talking about. I'm a talking I'm a, about. Yeah, ain't no problems here. I'm a talking about <laughs> it. Not even a question, mate. They exist. Watch out if you're on a boat. Okay. Because I, I'm i going to present evidence that proves that they do, or they okay. did exist. So am I, but I, I, I want here to, know to dispel opinion. this quickly? No. Yeah, go ahead. What do you think? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, think it, I think it's shenanigans. I think that there <laughs> are giant squid, colossal squid. I think that in times past, sailors have had encounters with giant squid, very similar to the video we just saw of the divers in Japan. Those stories have got way out of proportion. Uh, mariners have mixed up squid and octopus and created this um, kraken. So I say shenanigans. Maybe it's a squawktopus. <laughs> wow, well, look at you. Zing. I mean, what if I told you that a respected paleontologist named Mark McMenamin? Oh, not McMenamin. <laughs> yes, McMenamin. <laughs> It sounds like a like a sports like a sports bar chain where you get like poor quality burgers. McMenamins. Yeah, McMenamins. Get, yeah. It's like a Seinfeld character. Yeah. Uh, please go on. Well, Mark McMenamin says that the Kraken's very much real and okay. he has discovered a Kraken's lair. What? Please continue. Yeah. I Let's mean, it's in more. the desert of Nevada. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. McMenamin might have got dropped on his head a few times as a child. Um, okay. Please, please continue. Berlin, <laughs> Berlin Ichthyosaur Park, State Park in Nevada, right? Which there's used like to so be... many things going on in that sentence. Berlin Ichthyosaur Park in Nevada. <laughs> okay. Berlin <laughs> Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada, right? Where uh, it used to be ocean during the, the period where ichthyosaurs, which grew up to 40 feet long, sort of like a can I see what an ichthyosaur looks like, Kyle? Um, I really want to go to massive, the park now. Massive, massive uh, creature, this ichthyosaurs, right? And mm-hmm. they found a lot of ichthyosaur remains there. That's why it's called this, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we're talking this 45-foot oh, wow. marine dinosaur apex predator. Yep. Okay. So cool. So Very what, cool. <sighs> what Mark McMenamin found McMenamin. was an arrangement <laughs> – of ichthyosaur bones. Okay. That he says there's no way that it just randomly occurred this way. And the pattern the bones are laid out in are very similar to what uh, we find in octopus middens because mm. they arrange the bones of the fish they eat. That's right. There we go. I mean, fact. Forrest, you can't deny this photographic evidence that we're Well, I do want to see this see. this midden, by the way. But, um, hmm, okay. What do I have to rebuke this? Um, well, <laughs> I'll say this. Whether there are or aren't Kraken, cannot, I, I believe there are not. Now, I also don't, if you'd asked me were there ever giant 
aquatic dinosaur fish things called ichthyosaurs, I would have said no. So <laughs> I think going back into the time of ichthyosaurs and the time of dinosaurs, there very well could have been some insane sea creatures like a kraken. Now, what's to say that there wasn't another intelligent, large marine organism that also laid out bones and had middens and things like that? How do we know it wasn't a paleosuchus, which I think is the giant crocodile um, that dragged it back to its lair? You know, so I, I like what McMinton's putting out there. I just uh, I just don't trust a guy with a name like that, to be quite honest. <laughs> well, so, okay, we explain what the whole theory is, right? Because octopus, they they play with yeah, the, what's a the bones oh, of things okay. they eat. Sorry, they... sorry. Yeah, I mean, Patrick's got it. But yeah, so octopus have a den site, right? Which is also known as a midden. They have a place where they retreat to and they go to. And they go out and they hunt and they fish and they bring back their prey. And then they scatter and oftentimes will actually decorate the outside of their midden. You know, they'll put these shells or these piles of fish bones. Some of it's for decoration. Some of it's basically like taking the trash out. But the point being, it's not random, right? You you, you look and it's very easy, especially these guys who hunt octopus in Hawaii, which I've never really understood. But there's a lot of guys that do it very aggressively. And they look for middens. They look for these sites of these giant piles of shells and bones. And they go, oh, there's definitely an octopus in that hole. And then they reach in and grab it. Um, mm. By the way, there is a giant octopus killing a, a kraken or a kraken killing an ichthyosaur down there. Go uh, look at the little little graphic. Yep, that's the guy. Yeah. Look at that. Look oh, yeah. at that. Yeah. So, wow. so his his theory is that you know, based on the arrangement of these ichthyosaur bones, something had eaten them, collected the bones. It looked like a what an octopus midden would look like, yep. but of an animal that was forty five feet long. And so he's saying. This could have been a huge octopus, and because octopus don't, they're an invertebrate, right? You're right. not going to find evidence of the of yep. the kraken's bones itself. I, I, I mean, look, all jokes aside, I think that checks out. It doesn't mean it was an octopus and not a squid. It, you know, it doesn't mean that we even know what kind of giant cephalopods were around during the Jurassic period. I think that checks out. I think there's highly likely that there were giant cephalopods during that time whether they were kraken or colossal squid or something we've never heard of, which is far more likely, I'm sure it existed. Everything sure. was bigger back then, right? All the critters were bigger back then, and I'm sure that's the case for the for the um, for the uh, the group, the family group of of squid and octopus, which I just said is this, times is, and now I'm blanking on. Is this something that all cephalopods do with the the, the midden? No, it's not. I think Just cuttlefish octopus? do it. I, we should check that. I think cuttlefish may do it, but definitely, it's definitely an octopus thing. Oh, so there. I mean, I guess you know, not to shit on your point, but isn't there? Does it? Wouldn't that mean that there's no, no other do cuttlefish don't do it? No. But so, it, in present time, no, no other animal does this except for an octopus. Well, no other cephalopod, no other sea creature. But yes, but. Humans. That's in present time. That's in present time. Things were different during the Jurassic. We had giant lizards walking around everywhere. So sure. what's to say that giant squid <laughs> didn't have middens? Or maybe there were giant octopus then. I'm saying they're not here now. I think it's shenanigans. The, also, the by the way, definitely by the way, by the way, at one point. the fauna during that time would have supported a giant octopus, right? There right. would have been enough for it to eat. Sure. The giant octopus would have come up and eaten ichthyosaurs. Today, yeah. it's like, okay, there's some blue whales and stuff, but everything's not way bigger and slower, which marine reptiles are, than today. You know what I mean? Everything's actually smaller and faster today. It's like marine mammals, they're way faster, they're more agile. Big cephalopod's going to have a way harder time catching a big marine mammal than it would a big, slow-moving you know, reptile. Sure. Yep. Well, whether so. it's aliens or octopus, which are the same thing, definitely existed. You heard it. From Forrest Galante, Krakens are real. That's what I said. <laughs>